Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is multi-tenant architecture. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in technology or you want to learn about it. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Uh, friend, multi-tenant architecture commonly referred to as multi-tenancy is a software architecture in which multiple single instances of software run on a single physical server. The server then serves multiple tenants. Additionally, multi-tenant architecture is used to enable multiple users to use a single application for instance a database. Multi-tenant architecture is often uh, used in cloud computing to offer, sh offer shared tenancy on public cloud providers like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Additionally, multi-tenancy is a key part of another cloud model, software as a service, and so is deployed by many SaaS companies as well as virtually every cloud company. Tenants is a term for a group of users or software applications that all share access to the hardware through the underlying software. Multiple tenants on a server all share the memory which is dynamically allocated and cleaned up as needed. They also share access to system resources such as the network controller. This is the opposite of single tenancy in which the server runs one instance of the operating system and one application. This one application could be something simple like file and print apps complex like web or application servers or mission critical such as database. Now why multi-tenant architecture matters? Multi-tenant architecture is a core technology that enables cloud computing. So as noted uh, as already discussed that multi-tenant is used by all public cloud providers and is universally deployed in the cloud landscape. Indeed, multi-tenant architecture literally makes cloud computing economically and technologically feasible by allowing a mixed number of customers to leverage one platform as covered in greater detail uh, as well. The cost advantages of multi-tenant tends to be the uh, make or break factor that attracts enterprise users to multi-tenant architecture. The other crucial driver for multi-tenant architecture is that it enables high levels of scalability. Cloud providers can expand service to customers exponentially faster because a single platform is serving multiple customers. This scalability is an important to cloud computing as any of its many advantages. Businesses migrate from their aging data centers to the cloud because they know they can with a few clicks, access more computing power and an, out, uh, an array of cloud-based tools, from artificial intelligence to machine learning to data analytics. If this process were slow or in any uh, cumbersome, that is, if multi-tenant were not efficient and powerful, cloud computing would hardly be possible. Significantly, multi-tenant architecture enables cloud in all its forms, public cloud, private cloud, multi-cloud, hybrid cloud, and native cloud. Now, how did the multi-tenant architecture develop? The concept of multi-tenancy actually uh, dates back to the 1960s when companies rented time on main mainframes, which were rare and expensive. Back then, it was called time sharing. Multiple customers could access the same apps at the same time a feed only mainframes could do. Starting in the 1990s, application service providers (ASPs) hosted applications on behalf of their customers and like mainframes, the same apps were made available to multiple customers. In the modern era, multi-tenancy is part and parcel with software as a service models like Salesforce, Office 365, Zuhu, Box, Zendesk, Slack and many more applications on demand. Uh, cloud providers do offer multi-tenancy in a technique of shared use of computing resources. However, this shared use of resources should not be confused with virtualization. A closely related concept in a multi-tenancy environment, multiple customers share the same application 
in the same operating environment on the same hardware with the same storage machine mechanism in virtualization every application runs on a separate virtual machine with its own operating system now what is the difference between single and multi tenant friend a single tenancy is largely seen, uh, seen as the uh, deluxe option in that a client operates a solely dedicated environment in a multi tenant environment each customer shares the software application along with a single database so multiple people from the same company can access the database still even in multi tenant each tenant is isolated from other tenants now the advantages of single tenant architecture single tenant hosting gives clients more control because there is no sharing of resources this manifests in a number of ways greater uh, customization since they have only one client single tenants can customize the software for their needs greater isolation from security risk you control the environment and uh, what goes in and out of it faster recovery restoring a one client is faster and easier th than many better control single tenant can be a chooser about accepting software changes and updates and decides uh, about what adds on they want to do avoiding noisy uh, neighbor uh, uh, syndrome since you are sharing resources and multi tenant scenarios some else who is really heavily using the system might slow you down disadvantages of the single uh, tenant architecture like first one is the cost there is no cost sharing for things like balancing services system monitoring and deployment client responsibility clients are responsible for software updates patches backup restore and disaster recovery single tenant systems can be less efficient if they don't run on at full capacity of or if they are over provision advantages of the uh, uh, multi tenant architecture first one is the simplified hosting it's not your hardware to ma manage any more reducing a lot of time and expense uh, with less interaction with the outside world exposure to malicious software is reduced upgrading software is no longer your problem you always get the latest version of software pushed out to you by the provider uh, then uh, the disadvantages of the uh multi tenant architecture like despite of cost advantage multi tenant environment have some disadvantages as well like downtime outages can be nationwide and often make the news when they happen saas providers tend to build enough redundancy into the system to minimize this um, noisy neighbors like someone else on your cpu might be consuming cycles and slowing you down capacity is supposed to be elastic and uh expand as needed but that not the way the case um multi tenant databases in a multi tenant environment multiple customers share the same application in the same operating environment on the same hardware with the same storage mechanism and database this is how salesforce and every other saas operator runs every tenant is a customer uh, or user who has common access and specific privileges in the software instance so friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends